welcome to perfect guardian and i'll tell you about some herbs that you can grow at home on the first is basil basil is a commonly used as cooking herb with medicinal uses that you can easily grow in your kitchen garden so basil seeds in a warm sunny place and provide water on a regular basis to retain moisture after the soil was warmed basil is very sensitive to cold so to protect it you can keep it indoors or cover it with a sheet now the properties it has basil has antioxidant antiseptic anti inflammatory and antibacterial properties it also has nutrients like vitamin a c and k manganese copper calcium iron magnesium and omega 3 fatty acids basil can be used to treat flatulence lack of appetite gas nausea cuts scraps headaches coughs acne kidney stones and more now parsley when it comes to taste parsley is one of the best options and you can easily grow this herb in your small garden area parsley prefers damp well drained soil and partial shade it can also thrive in the sun but the soil must be kept moist now its medicinal properties is good source of volatile oils flavonoids and antioxidants it also has many vit- vital vitamins like c b12 k and a along with folic acids parsley is used to treat urinary tract infections kidney stones constipation jaundice gas indigestion colic diabetes cups asthma etc now mint mint grows in moist shaded area as well as sunny locations keep it well watered and use a weak liquid fertilizer consider growing mint mint plants in large sunken pots because they grow vigorously mint has antioxidant spectrotorin digestive antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties it is also rich in vitamin like a c and contains manganese and iron mint can be very useful in treating indigestion vomiting sore muscles abdominal pain heartburn chest pain irritable bowel fever headaches and bad breath now rosemary rosemary is a great herb to grow in your garden it grows best in well drained sandy or gravelly soil and prefers neutral to alkaline conditions with average fertility the herb loves basking in sunshine it will not withstand water logging or frost it has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds along with health benefiting nutrients essential fatty acids anti allergic astringent It is a good source of iron, calcium and vitamin B6. This aromatic herb is often recommended in the treatment of headaches, colds, depression, premature baldness, dandruff, indigestion, muscle pain and neurologic conditions. Now sage. Another herb used for culinary as well as medicinal purposes is sage. You can grow it well drained, fertile soil where there is enough sunlight. During the winter it can survive well in dry indoor air but it will need a strong sun. It contains a variety of volatile oils, flavonoids and vitamin A and K. Sage is a natural stimulant, antibiotic, astringent, tonic and carminative. Now, sage is used for treating loss of appetite, gas, stomach pain, heartburn, depression, cold sores, gum disease painful periods asthma and excessive sweating now thyme another herb that you should grow in your garden is rye thyme you can easily grow it in dry well drained light soil and enough sunlight it can grow in any climatic condition but protect it from harsh winter weather with covering thyme is a powerful antioxidant expectorant as well as antiseptic and has antibacterial properties It is good source of vitamin C and A, iron, manganese, copper and fiber. Thyme can be used to treat coughs, congestion, indigestion, gas, mild diarrhea, infected toenails, acne, arthritis, sore throat and bronchitis. 
So I told you five to six things that you can grow in your house. Now, the seventh thing is lavender. Lavender grows nicely in dry, well-drained, sandy soil with full sun. It needs little or no fertilizer and good air circulation. Due to its nice aromatic fragrance, lavender is used in soaps, shampoos, creams and other cosmetic products. Now, it is useful for dealing with health issues like upset stomach, cuts, wounds, bad breath, migraines, vomiting, toothaches, nausea, hair loss and many more. Now, oregano. Many Italian, Mexican and Spanish dishes are spiced with a signature flavor of oregano. You can grow organo in raised beds or containers. Now, medicinal properties. Organo has antioxidant, antibacterial, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, carminative, diuretic, diaphoretic, extrotorant, and mild tonic properties. It is rich in vitamin A, C, E, and K, as well as, as fiber, manganese, calcium, omega-3 fatty acids. Organo can be used to treat common colds, muscle pain, sore throat, fever, vomiting, acne, dandruff, bronchitis, asthma, toothaches, headaches, and many things. Now, lemon balm. The lemony and minty smell and the refreshing look of lemon balm leaves will add glory to any garden area. This herb easily grows in rich, moist, but well-drained soil with partial of full sun. Now, Lemon balm is a natural antioxidant, antiviral, anti-tumor, antimicrobial, and anti-spasmodic agent. Now, lemon balms are used and found highly beneficial in the treatment of herbs, stomach gas, stomach pain, migraines, toothaches, insect bites, headaches, fever, cold, coughs, menstrual cramps, etc. Now, dill. Dill is an aromatic herb that will add beauty and pleasing aroma to your garden. You can grow it either in the ground or in large containers in well-drained soil. Dill is used in many traditional medicine due to its anti-inflammatory, carminative, antiseptic, antipasmodic, disinfectant and sedative properties. Dill is used for treating intestinal gas, diarrhea, dysentery, nerve pain, menstrual cramps, fever, colds, coughs, bronchitis, headaches, liver disorders, etc. Please subscribe to my channel for Fit Guardian and give your comments. Thank you.